what the heck happened yesterday hey guys what's up it is the culture detective here investigating your favorite movies and today i'm gonna do a movie review on one of the movies released this year but not many people have uh seen it and it is uh the art of self defense so the reason why not a lot of people know about this movie is that uh, it is a small art house film. The cast isn't really too big. Not that many famous people in the cast. In fact, oh, the only person who I uh, who I've heard of in the cast before watching the movie is Jesse Eisenberg, who is fantastic. You may know him from The Social Network by David Fincher, and also I think Zombieland. Um, Anyway, this movie is directed and written by a man named Riley Stearns, whom I have not heard of as well. So the plot of the movie is basically Casey, who is played by Jesse Eisenberg. He's a really feminine man. He's weak. He's afraid of other people. He's afraid of socializing, and he's really bad at socializing as well. And he has a high voice. Uh, he's very scared and worried all the time. And then one day he got mugged. He got beaten up really badly, and he decided to join a karate class because he wants to defend himself, and he wants to be a man. And that's basically the plot. Except, this movie is about toxic masculinity, so the master of karate in that karate class is uh, actually uh, very toxic, and he teaches people... Uh, to be masculine in a talk is the message because this movie essentially attacks toxic masculinity. This movie is about, hey, if you want to be a man, you got to be super masculine. You got to beat people up, listen to metal music, have large dogs and, and speak rough languages. That's how you become a man. But no, this movie is about good masculinity versus toxic masculinity and that is a pretty good concept being explored in this movie but uh, before we get into the pros of the movie let's talk about the cons first of all some scenes here are pretty jumpy uh, for instance uh, the main character Casey played by Jesse Eisenberg uh, he and this other guy uh, his sensei his karate te karate teacher uh, were having a really nice conversation and they were really happy about one another uh, on one scene and then immediately in the next shot a conflict happens and and it happens like like on, on another day or something and it's just kind of jumpy earlier on in the movie after Casey got mugged and beaten up uh, in the next shot we see him laying down uh, on, on a hospital bed with bruises and cuts all over him and then at the next shot he's totally fine and I know that there is a period of time in between these two shots but I just can't tell because there is no indication of that and then after that we also have some slight character inconsistencies that are slightly confusing like we have a female character in the cast who's a uh, pretty good looking admittedly and also really really good at karate and on the first two scenes we see her she's very angry very mean and she's very strong and she likes to you know hurt people and stuff and then later on she suddenly does a 180 degree and becomes super compassionate and super sympathetic towards weaker people for some reason and i just wish that there is a more clarification on that i also have one more minor complaint on this movie and that is uh yeah i know this movie is about toxic masculinity and uh the character of sensei who's supposed to be super toxic is also uh, very wrong on the matter of masculinity uh, there's a scene where sensei asked uh, casey what kind of music casey listens to and casey said adult contemporary and uh sensei said no should be metal should be metal which is kind of inaccurate actually because i listen to a lot of music and i know for a fact that a lot of feminine men listened listens to metal uh, a lot of feminine men listen to metal and i know that a lot of women listen to metal as well and i know that a lot of masculine men also listen to mainstream pop music so uh, your musical taste doesn't really judge your masculinity uh, at all actually and then uh sensei later on says that uh, uh 
uh, Casey should be learning how to speak German or Russian rather than French because German and Russian are more masculine than French, which is another thing that I find kind of weird because uh, uh, French isn't necessarily feminine. Uh, French, like any other language, it's just a language. You can say it in a really rough, rude way, use its swear words and slangs, uh, or you can speak French with uh, elegance and formality, you know, like any other language in the world. I guess my biggest com dialogues in this movie feel unnatural. They feel rigid. And um, I can't really blame the actors. Uh, also, um, Again, this movie deals with toxic masculinity and also gender equality as well. And uh, while I like these concepts and messages being uh, displayed and explored in this movie, sometimes this movie is trying too hard to force these concepts and ideas down our throats uh, without any subtlety or nuances. Like on one of the scenes, uh, the female character uh, Anna uh, she heard sirens and she was like, oh no, I hear sirens. We must leave right now. And then the guy says, what sirens? I don't hear any. And, and Anna says, uh, no, uh, females have better uh, audio perception than males. So uh, I must be right. And <laughs> kind of uh, uh, pushing in while everything's in slow-mo and the camera is not f really focusing on one specific object. Uh, it, it's shot like a music video. It reminds me a lot of that MGMT music video, Little Dark Age, and it's really cool. There are also a lot of twists and turns in this movie. I mean, within one hour and 45 minutes, a lot of plot is actually packed into the movie really well, and the pacing of the movie is uh, actually really good. It doesn't feel slow or boring at all. Every scene is really well paced, even though some of them is jumpy. And even though some of the twists are pretty predictable, I still enjoy most of the twists and turns. And uh, we have uh, the ending of the movie, uh, the climax, which just uh, which just shocks me. You know, I, I was watching the scene and I was like, what? And um, that's basically what I have to say about the movie. Uh, yeah, uh, even though it's very much flawed and the dialogues feel very stiff and awkward, not in a professional way, uh, but I still really love the plot and the twists and turns. And um, I'm saying the art of self-defense is a nice try and I'm giving it a strong 6 to a light 7 out of 10. Very likely it will end up in my year-end list honorable mentions. So, have you watched The Art of Self-Defense? For one to that much, rate it, like it, like it, and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. Also, I still haven't watched The Lighthouse because I can't. Uh, I also really want to watch Mary's Story, 1917, Ford vs. Ferrari, Knives Out, Jojo Rabbit, and Waves and Uncut Gems. Stay tuned.